Hello and welcome to another episode. In today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to add comments into your CSS code. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And as well, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, so let's get started. So in today's episode, we're going to be using the same CSS file that we have been using so far. Now the file, um, it's open here. I have it open in Visual Studio Code. And today's chapter is actually very, very simple. To add comments, we're going to go to w3school.com and you're going to visit the comments section. Okay, so let's read here real quick. It says that comments are used to explain the code and may help you when you edit the source code at a later date. Comments are ignored by browsers, okay? Um, now, let's take a look at the syntax in how we add the comment in here. So a comment can be added into our code inside the style element, and it starts with a forward slash and an asterisk, and then it ends with an asterisk followed by the forward slash. So let's give it a try. Okay, we're going to get into our code and let's open our, our uh, file real quick here. Okay, so this is the website that we built in our previous chapter using some CSS style. So what we are going to do here, it's add a comment. Okay, now the comment can be added any place in the CSS code. So let's use an example that I want to add a comment here on top of this H1, H2, and um, P selectors, right? So what we're gonna do is use the forward slash and an asterisk. And then what we are going to do is say, this is a comment. And now we're going to close it using an asterisk and then a forward slash. I'm going to save this and now I'm going to refresh the website. As you can see, the website did not change and it didn't change because a comment is only used inside of your code to remind you of something. So let's say as an example that we want to say here something like, um, this is a group um, of selectors to add the same style. Let's say that you just want to remember that this portion right here is just a group of selectors um, to add the same style, which is color blue and background black, right? So we can do that, we can hit save. And if I hit refresh here, nothing happens to the website. And that's the whole purpose of comments. We do not want them to affect our source code. We just want to use them like a note, a quick notation that this portion of the code does this or that. Sometimes some programmers even um, use the comments in every single programming language to just simply put the previous um, source code they wrote before. Okay, now you can add this in different lines as well. Like I could do this, right, like this. And I can add it in a um, couple of uh, lines, like three lines or more if I want to, right? And same thing, I mean, it's gonna be saved. Nothing is gonna happen to our main code. And we're going to be able to see that here. Now, as you, as you can see, I added this before, uh, this group selectors, but I can also go ahead and copy this information and also add it right here. And this is not going to affect my source code at all. Actually, let me go ahead and erase this and I'm going to hit save so you can see this. You see, nothing changes in my code. And the comment is inserted in there. So, that's most of what you need to know about comments. If you have any questions about comments, make sure to leave the questions in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer them as soon as I can. As well, remember that if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that way you can get notified every single time that I upload a video. So that was it for this chapter, everyone. Remember again that you can always ask Lixie. Bye again and see you in the next episode.